pre inter this, this interview, I was like, oh, what do I, what am I going to say? My grandma was the person that like was out <laughs> here in California with me and that like helped me make my career possible, whatever. And I was like, just tell me what to say. And she said, she's so <laughs> Christian and so <laughs> sweet. And all of the answers were like about like morals and like how the show is good for like the community and like my fam very very <laughs> like press training like, from grandma this like 13 year old 13 year old who's like i think uh i think <laughs> this like show is good for families Dude, you look, and you look like the kangaroo in that video where the kangaroo's <laughs> like, like gets dog. punched and he's like <laughs> i'm gonna bash your f***ing head in oh. <laughs> Hey, good Monday morning. We've got Tiger Blood, as you remember uh, Charlie Sheen saying when he was by winning. Uh, I winning. am by the way right here to talk to you. And I actually brought a joke for you today. Uh, I don't know if I said this yet. And I'm really excited because I totally forgot I wrote it down. I already know it. What Go is ahead it? And say it? Is it the one in the note? Yes. Um, I, I just wanted to ask you why I've met so many cordial coal miners. Why? Well, they all mine their own business. <sighs> you see that? Did you feel that? Did you hear it? It was the air leaving the room. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we have a very special guest today uh all of our guests are special but spencer sutherland came and uh, talked to us yeah it was a lot of fun um and we didn't do an outro we just talked to him for so long i i i i i, I. you know what i was thinking about today On? i called you <laughs> yeah i called <laughs> you uh earlier to you tell you about called the, me that name that was mean the the nuclear oh, bomb yeah. thing you mm -hmm. know what i was talking about you know what i'm getting real sick of i'm getting real sick of going on to tiktok and seeing clips of our podcast and then just people wrecking us. And then I just wish that, like, I, I wish I didn't look, but I look because I've never but had. I look. Sorry, but here's why. Because generally on social media, for me, prior to this podcast, you know, people would be like, ah, oh, like, they didn't say anything like negative about what I would say. They would just be like, hey, you as a human suck, you know? And I didn't get it often, but it just would be like, I, I say in this clip that. It would doesn't like two or three nuclear bombs wouldn't that do the trick? And then people are like, two or three certainly would not do the trick. And it's just like, oh, <laughs> shut up. Talk like, imagine it. typing that. They have no idea what they are talking about. Yeah, I fucking, <laughs> oh, dude, no way. I don't. I don't have any idea what I'm talking about. But also, I have no idea. And I'm pretty sure I clarify that a thousand times on this show. I have no idea what I'm saying. Same I don't know. Up. And I, I don't know. And I also, I don't believe that this guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah, dude, he's been researching nukes since 2007, man. But he's that guy like, knows everything about nukes. He's like, why are you commenting? You know, like if you don't, if you don't, ah, whatever. I don't know. Hey, go out there, buy a microphone, buy a camera, start a Do podcast. Do your own podcast. Talk about your nuclear bombs. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is going nuclear. <laughs> Welcome back, cool. where we talk about one thing, one thing only, that is nuclear bombs. This episode is brought to you by uh, Plutonium. Plutonium, great for nuclear bombs. You like that? I do like that. Thanks, brother. Um, are you uh, taking another one? Well, actually, I'm taking my first one because we haven't... Because uh, we did the intro first. Well, I want to get jazzed. We're about to go do a little session. Bradley and I decided that... Uh, we're doing we, music now. No, we're doing music. Yeah, we're doing music, and I'm doing porn. Cocaine. Porn cocaine. Porn cocaine. <laughs> porn while on cocaine. Cocaine while doing porn. I don't <laughs> Have know. Have you ever Those seen two different things? Gordon Ramsay on cocaine. Mm -mm. It's one of the worst. Can you, Dennis, can you pull that up? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Is it a video where he, he did he a looks? show called Gordon Ramsay on cocaine, okay? And it was about him, like, <laughs> it was about him, like, stopping like the coke or like figuring out the cocaine oh, yeah, epidemic I remember that. but the poster is just gordon ramsay on cocaine. cocaine so you think that he's just cooking like on cocaine sometimes when he is yelling at people you're like this so guy's on like, like, like a meme that blew up where it's just him on can cocaine. you just pull up the poster oh right there yeah yeah or yeah no no whatever like look, gordon ramsay on, on cocaine, cocaine. yeah First it's look. like come on can we i don't know throw in some colons Clip. gordon ramsay on cocaine <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like it's a clip of Gordon Ramsay on cocaine. He look, kind of looks like a mugshot too. Yeah, it does. Yeah, see? That's oh, what a beautiful man though. I know. I, you know what? So he's at F1 right now. Natasha's at F1 right now. And I was like, if you even think about getting close to that man, I will be so pissed at you. Mm. I'd be pissed. I want to meet him so bad. And if she met him before me, is that be your, is he your hall pass? He's my hall pass. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. dude. She knows. She's this okay. Is really that. good. Oh, those are fantastic. They're delicious. You would be the most focused person if you just drank like a, as a. Oh my God, it has 55 milligrams of caffeine in it. I'm be freaking wired, dude. That's why I felt. Oh, wow. Okay, great. A little shot of caffeine, a little shot of. What was B12? the session that you said we, we Bradley and I are now. Me, me, me. Oh, we're writing. We're writing, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're oh, writing. I mean, we've been writing uh, stuff. You know what we're doing? Yeah. I'm going to be super jazzed to go get some food. Sakaya. And then. Uh, I really appreciate that you're. Um, trying to, to make me feel better about my uh, creative output. And for, for anybody out there um, who's watching this podcast, uh, my dear friend Jake Short might be the most self-deprecating, I don't want to say depressing, but... Uh, you said it earlier. Uh, I did. My, I just didn't want to say it on the podcast. Okay. Um, something I adore about you is how realistic you are, but something that makes me want to stab you is how realistic you are sometimes. Mm. And sometimes it's like... Um, you know, hey, I don't know. Let's just have a little faith. It'd be like, hey, let's write this TV show. And he'd be like, well, it's never going to get made. And you're like, okay. Well, why do we do anything ever then? No, I believe in that. I believe if we have the TV show. I just want to write, you know, I just want it to be good. I just want to be golden. You're like, well, I'll probably never make it as an actor. It's like, dude, you've done 150 episodes of television. I feel like if history repeats itself at all, you might be okay. Mm. I won't make it as an actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I will be... I actually, if people watch those 150 episodes, you'll never make it as I'll be a Golden Globe winning writer. It's an odd goal to have, right? Golden Globe over like an Emmy or like a Yeah, it's Oscar. a weird one. Yeah, because yeah. it's kind of like the Who Cares Awards. The cousin of awards. The SAG Awards, I feel like, is a cool one because that's like your peers. You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah um, your peers. Your peers. Your peers. Uh, anyway, we kind of mentioned it later on, but oh, we did a show in Salisbury already. <laughs> Dude, we did this show in it Salisbury great. last week. It went... I think super well. Yeah, really good. I think really well. About as well as this interview with Spencer. I loved the interview with Spencer. Pro top five. Top five? Yeah. All for, time? Yeah, top, for us. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This, is, 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 he like our, is he like our 50th guest? He's our fifth guest, so he's ranked 50th. one of five. No, I think he's 50th. Um, or it's 50th episode, but I think that we've done a bunch of stuff. Yeah, he is the 50th guest. Wow. 50th episode. 50th episode. 50th episode. 50th episode. <laughs> 50th episode. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right, well, I need actually, some food. My and he's hammered, cool. yeah. so we gotta go. I'm um, and what I right appreciate now. about Spencer is that he actually watched our show. Yeah, that makes me feel so good. good. So many episodes. Um, hey, Dennis, thank you. I don't feel like we give him enough credit. Thank you, Dennis. I. Wow, I'm gonna put. Spencer he just ruined it. Top so one. So hard. Uh, let's go to our best episode ever. Let's go talk to. <laughs> I tried to give him our good pal a little Spencer. bit of flowers, and he just took a fat dump on them. Here we go. Hey guys, <laughs> thanks so much to Spencer Sutherland for coming and joining us today. He was just Thank complimenting you, yeah. us on the our, audience. Uh, we'll on have our podcast. Yeah, make sure you guys go deaf. Here you go. We do. Um, we're actually doing a live show next week. We're doing That's a live very show. Exciting no for way. Us. It's the first time we're ever doing a live show. Where? We're our last guest before we uh, lose our virginity of live shows. Yeah, uh, uh, Salisbury, Maryland. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't think it's a real beautiful place. city. I huh? think we're going to drive there and they're going to be like, you, we fucked with you. It's a ghost yeah, town. Got what you guys? Mean? No one lives here. <laughs> Did yeah. you guys have a guest or is it just you two? Just, just us. We're just going to throw awesome. some shit out. For yeah. 45 minutes. Uh, we're doing what you do on ED. I was looking up all of your tour dates. Yeah. Um, you're going to the Netherlands? Yeah, three times. That's, wait, in the same like tour. You're, yeah. go you're going, leaving, going, leaving, then coming back? Or are you yeah, doing three tours? Be, yeah. That's no, same, Thanks same tour. That one. We just announced the first one and then it, it sold out so quick that we added another and then, I was like, and then it sold out and we're like, let's add another. You There's something going on there. I was gonna say, do you have like it's a, a big, weirdly big fan base in the Netherlands? I've heard this from a lot of artists. Like for some reason, they just like they just go to shows. Like if they see you once live, they're like, "That's I'm gonna watch every show that he ever does for the rest of our lives collectively." All and right. it's I love great. That. It's awesome. And they're so like, it's just a lit crowd there. Like they're like really, really, really loud and wild and. That's really cool. Yeah, and have a crazy, crazy accent. Do they do uh, <laughs> like big festivals there? I don't know anything about the Netherlands. Music yeah, thing. I mean Amsterdam in general is like the sickest yeah. place yeah. ever. It's just like, so cool, and everybody's really nice, and very sweet. Oh yeah, like, oh, almost been God. hit by a bike there many, many, many times. Oh yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, I almost hit by a bike. There's uh, it, just walking around the red light district. I think is so fun. Oh yeah, mm. it's just beautiful. Like in the daytime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and the nighttime, the nighttime yeah, is pretty it's beautiful. Depends on what you're into out there. Yeah, exactly. Um, when do you start the tour? I start Jan. We just added a show. We just announced a show in Dublin. Another. Uh, we had another one. So January twelfth. Mm. Um, and then I'm out till April, middle of the April. Are you busing it out there? Are you doing like? Are you flying around? Bus and flying. Busing. Busing <laughs> straight I'm from busing, here. I'm flying out there, but truly, I'm busing. Bus- <laughs> <laughs> Um, holy shit, that's crazy. That's uh, that's gonna be a lot. Have you done that before? I'm sure you've done like shows. Yeah, out there. yeah. I, I went for the first time this past summer. Um, okay. Did it? Did mm. a tour out there and immediately announced another one because it was just Europe is just different. It's, it's like, different. Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. They're wild. I've never yeah. been. Really? Never been. Yeah. Not I, to not to the UK either. Well, I went to Scotland for work and I was there for four oh, days. And fuck. That's it. Yeah. Scotland. Oh, Scotland. Um, I was there literally for four days, and that was it. Left. What'd you do? We were filming at a castle. What? In, what was? What were you filming? Uh, it was a promo for the movie Brave. Oh, sick! Remember that movie? Yeah, the animated one. Yeah, yeah. To change if you had the chance to change, would you? Yeah. 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 A lot of people think that it's Bootya. Braveheart, but it's it's not. No, it's not actually. as brave. It's not mm. even close. Very mm. different. What was her name? Agatha Augustine. I don't think Augustine. I think that yeah, was, it was it. A- yeah. Ag- Agnes. Sure. Was it Agnes? Yeah. I th- something like that. Yeah, Agnes? sounds right. Agnes feels like a Scottish name to me. What was it does the feel like a Scottish name from Brave. Oh, yeah. I just saw Anora last night. Uh, totally unrelated. Fantastic movie though. Anora. Anora. Yeah, it's What's a new that? Sean Baker movie. Oh, it's very. Uh, I'm very. Really, I'm locked. Different in on movie than I thought I was what going to see, but it was fantastic. Maria. Marita. Marita. Yeah. Oh wait. No. That's Isn't it like Marida? Marida or something like that. Marida. It's Merida or something? Merida. Like Merida. 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 That's, That's fucking Merida. <laughs> wow. Can we figure that Mine's out? Mine's a little Irish. Mine's kind of. Ah, fuck. That's fucking Merida there. <laughs> That's pretty like... good. Yeah, everybody's Irish accent is just based off of Conor McGregor. Yep. That's all it is. Hey, if I didn't. Hey, if I didn't. I'm going to fucking hit you in the fucking jaw, you <laughs> yeah, fucking Yeah, I'm going to do fucking nothing. <laughs> That's nothing. all he remembers. He just says fucking fights. That's, it. That's um, all he can do. What yeah. is the preparation like? Preparation H, what is that like? Uh, for uh, it's a tour. Useful. <laughs> yeah. um, it's actually crazy you say that because now it, it being October, like now is kind of when I start to get my voice like, dude, it's like, it literally is like going to the gym. Like I'm sure your voice, you just got to withstand a lot of shit and I'm, I'm going to get sick. I've gotten sick every tour always. So you just kind of have to like plan for that and just have your voice be as strong as possible. I also go into like a weird diet workout time and do sprints and like get obsessed and which is great, but it's less fun yeah. for sure. Yeah. Because you got to sit there and like build the stamina to try to perform for an hour straight every single day you're prepping for. Kind of, but I just want to be like shredded. Yeah. You want oh, to. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's but the yeah, vanity so that's of the it. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That's actually the my heart's like, case, yes, yeah. perfect. How long is your set? Uh, this will be, when I open, it's like 30 minutes. And when it, when it's my headline show, like an hour and 15 ish, mm. something like that. Um, Damn. That's yeah, I try not to go like hour and a half. I feel like like when I go to see shows, even my favorite artists, I'm like, all yeah. right, it's been two hours now. Like, yeah, yeah. So I try not to go too much over an hour. Yeah, that would make I sense. I think an hour and a half, two hours <laughs> is, is like reserved for like old 1970s, 80s guys that are still performing. Like I saw Steve Miller band, and I was like, you oh, guys man. can play your whole. Or you went and saw Journey recently, right? The same same concert. Yeah, you're and like, they, give me give me all the hits. Also, Arnell is just like. Oh man, he like he's just as good as Steve Perry. Like, so cool. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, is wild to see him sing. Mm. Truly, yeah. it's we like weird how similar their voices are. Yeah, I mean everybody knows this, but they found him off of YouTube, which is really really nuts. Doing like a Journey cover, and they're like, what? "You sound better. Yeah. Be our singer." And he's been yeah. he's been, actually been their singer longer than Steve Perry ever was, which is pretty wild to think about for like sixteen years, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is so bizarre. That's nuts. Yeah, I love going to see those old old bands. Yeah. yeah. That's the shit. It's I a was lot of fun. Uh, I filmed a movie in Toronto and uh, we were in the lobby of the hotel and we were talking to the, this person recognized us and they were like, "Oh my god, my like kids love you guys." And um then uh, they were like, "Hey, we have a concert like the band that I manage is doing a show in Toronto tonight. Like, would you like to come?" And I was 12 at the time. And oh. they, yeah, they were like, who, who, uh, you know, we, we rep uh, the Eagles. Oh, my <laughs> and God. And my mom was like, huh? And I was like, I don't know who that is. 
And she was like, well, we're going. And yeah. then they were like, it was like on the sound, like on the the mixer area, like in the what is front of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. That's where they put That's us. It's the perfect sound. It was unbelievable. And uh, we went, I didn't know a single song. Now at my age, that, that would be unbelievable to go oh, see yeah. them. But like uh, at the time, it just meant nothing to me. That is so Man. crazy. And my dad was such a big Eagles fan. So the only song that I knew was like Hotel California, right? So you like, yeah. I heard that and was like, oh, that's, I remember this song. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this yeah. song's pretty good. Did he coming out with this now? But now, uh, yeah, it was unbelievable. Damn, dude. Yeah. I did it's not a bummer. Know that story. Yeah, it's a bummer. Wow. Like that should happen to you now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And Elation. I would be so much happier. Yeah, you would probably know. Was your dad pissed? Yeah, because he wasn't in Toronto. It was just me and my mom up there. My mom hates the Eagles. But she was like, we're going because it's like free tickets to the Eagles. Eagles, But she hates them. My mom says she hates a lot of bands. She hates the Beatles. But I think that she hates things that are like so popular. She's just like. Yeah, she's a she's a rock and roll hipster. She Mm. did love um, like kind of like ACDC vibe. Well, she's correct about that. Hysterical. If you knew my mom is like the most like, don't say that kind of thing. And so then it was like ACDC. She loved the Smiths. Love oh Smith. wow! That's yeah. That's yeah. out there too. Strange lady. How soon is now? Hmm? How soon is now? You know. Great. Anyway, yeah. um, so with the with the car, I'm Shh. interested about this. <laughs> is it just you Shh. on stage? Okay, so I, that was part of my question. Is like, but I want to hear your structured question. I want to yeah, hear your thank Lego you. tower of a question right now. Okay, so part of my question the Pharrell was, question. If it's just you on stage. <laughs> making a Lego movie. Do you can know you that? shut the fuck up? <laughs> I was thinking about Louis CK used to talk about how he would do he would do his set while on the treadmill. So he would do like his hour special and he would do it while on the treadmill running so that he was like in shape. And then I thought like that's so much extra for what Louis CK is doing on stage. Like he's just talking. Like he doesn't need to barely be running moving. around. Mm-hmm. Barely moving at all. Like that's his thing. Is but you've seen him sweat though. Yeah, so he's you know, just standing there he's sweating. Sweaty as comedian. You he's have to be like sweat. running around and doing a lot of things. Is it just you on stage? Because if it's just you on stage, I feel like you have to do even more. Oh, but yeah. if there's a band there, maybe you can like throw it to the band a little bit. Yeah, yeah. your drumstick. You know. Yeah. I have. I have. Uh, yeah, three piece band. Take a shit. I don't know. And I yeah. kick him and. Uh, <laughs> No, a three-piece band, then we, we have some, like, backing tracks and stuff. But mm. it, I do a lot of, like, my favorite, uh, my favorite like, acts are, like, Elvis and Freddie Mercury and the Temptations. Like, people that move a lot. So, like, I do, too. I like to, like, fucking do karate on stage like Elvis. And, yeah. Uh, so I, so I, I, it's, it's a lot of moving around. But I, pr- I run every day, even when I'm not prepping for tour. Yeah. Um, so I, it's... My breath support, like that's never really an issue. It's more like strengthening my voice before. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's where we feel like a band on stage, except for my clothes are like way more sparkly and tight. You got the Freddie Mercury kind of like tight, crazy tight uh, sequin jumpsuits and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fun. Is it, how did you get in? Like, did, did someone like, hey, you should try this? And you're like, yeah, oh. no. Because were you like, I want that? I did like for the longest time. I know we've met like a few times mm-hmm. over the years at different places through friends through maybe Austin North, so. Luke Benward, Luke, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, hey, I forget you know Maddie too. I know Maddie, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I like first starting out in music. I I I, I, I moved out here after high school and I did, had like a faux hawk and skinny jeans and like okay, I, long I looked you tea. up. I didn't see any of those Thank pictures. God, and I want to. Can we get on that, Dennis? Can we go uh, Spencer that Sutherland that? Faux Hawk? Out of myself. <laughs> just do, just type my name. Okay, 2017. we'll continue. <laughs> so that's not that long ago, by the way. Not long enough. Not, yeah, I thought you were going to be like 2007 when like that was kind of in. You're like no, nah, like 2023. Wait, it was never okay. Well, hold on. Let's while this is coming up. So yeah. you were you were coming out of here with the Faux Hawk. So the, I did. Uh, I did like what I thought pop singers should do, right? Like be this Bieber style thing, and I was oh, never yeah. myself. And during the pandemic, like I started, like go to the top right one, Dennis. Oh, jeez, dude. Right oh, there. fuck! Look at that fade hair. That's oh, nice. Absolute. But it's a perfection. sign of the times for sure. Hell of a jawline. Oh yeah. Though, can I just say? I mean, that's great news. Yeah, I mean that that's a tight fade. The the short hair look is a very different look. And when I looked you up to, I was like, man, this is not the same guy. Yeah. You do have the. Uh, it's, it doesn't it's go like with a, your music. It's I like heard. a pop rock. Well, look. that that music that I made then. It did it. What I was, yes, it was like real, like Maroon Five. It's not what. It's just what I thought like pop music should be. Yeah. And I had a like a aha moment when I looked at like what I was listening to and what I was trying to make, 
it was like I was listening to like Elton John and Prince and the Stones, and I was like, yeah. hmm. <laughs> That's not that. Yeah. <laughs> You're and, like, hold uh, on, wait, let me put on Maroon 5 again. Yeah, okay, well, that sounds a little for real. Better, but go back. <laughs> you go back to Ellen and you're like, man, okay, there's a stark hey difference now, here. I'm going to find it. Yeah. Like, Which is also a, a smash song, oh, I would I, say. Dude, Catchy as old hell. Maroon 5, I love. Yeah, that first love. that first record, like yeah. the first uh, songs about Jane. Is the yeah. Red, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the oh. Red Album. Yeah, with like the... Almost or even like what the was Starbucks the, logo. Uh-huh. What is it? The the V? The What What was that one? Dude, yeah. That one Fantastic. Like 2011. Yeah, whatever pay that phone, was. Yes, sugar. Yeah, that whole thing. Oh, that's crazy. Fantastic. That's old Maroon Five. Yeah, that's that old Maroon Five now. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, know what what I was just about to say, is. like, that's not old. No, it's super old. Yeah, no, it's yeah. 2011. Is a long time. Yeah, but you just, you know, I, I figured it out, and um, now I'm gonna be my old self for Halloween this year. I'm gonna do my that's clever tight tight fade again. I'm gonna. Um, you gonna cut your hair? <laughs> no. I was oh gonna man, say, dude. Say no, this is actually this is a wig. Looks great, man. Thanks. I can see the seams a little bit, but it looks pretty good. How long have you been growing your hair? I just got a cut like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, but I, how long did it take to get to that length? He's never had hair longer than two and a half, three inches, I think. This is like my average haircut. This is just like, sta- like, like. Brother, since I was born, like. I've never came, came out. I can't. Yeah, came out on the side. He was going, "Hey, what's up, guys?" I hey. came out of the wound, <laughs> greaser. You strolled out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mom, can I get snapping. my coffee? Huh? Hey, I was mom. flipping a quarter too. I came it's out too warm in there. Huh? <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry, dear mother. Too warm. In came out the wound. Really Where's sorry. my fucking money, <laughs> Lebowski? <laughs> Doctor's like, I, this gets mm-hmm. crazy. This kid's yeah. kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I cut Honestly, my own umbilical cord. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Yeah, dude. What's up? Thanks bitch? so much, man. Appreciate it. I, that's a death of my mom too. <laughs> yeah. I was like, nice job out there, kid. <laughs> really opened it up wide, mom. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, yeah. There is Dennis. Um, I had a question and now I forgot it. I, I do. Yeah, I did want to hear the answer to that one. Um, <laughs> five out of five. Is it just? Is it just you on that's tour? What I that's what I was asking. Um, is it just you? Like, are you? Or are you? Who's your who's your opener? Uh, I, yeah, actually, I, my opener is this girl. Her name's Chloe Wilder, and she's she's brand new, but she like sounds she sounds like like a new Lana Del Rey. Mm. She's got like a right. super cool voice. Yeah, she's great. She's um she's on the whole tour, Europe, UK, and America and Canada. Yeah, which when one you, start? Yeah, no, for sure. Which one starts first? Uh, Europe. Europe. Yep. Start in Dublin. They go over to Amsterdam and just go everywhere. Start big. That's. When you find an okay. opener, I, I listened to people talk about this the other day. Comedians were saying how they they never want to have too funny of an opener mm. because then they're like, no, I got to go out there and be hilarious. So they'll find like a kind of a dumpy opener so that when they come up there, like even if they suck, they're like, it's way better than the opener. <laughs> Do you ever like when you're finding an opener, have you ever been like, oh, that person's going to be a little better than me? I don't no, know. Um, not not like in a way like I'm better than everyone. <laughs> yeah, I don't think about that. Like, I think that. Definitely is real in comedy. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just think if you're an artist and you do that, you're like a little bit insecure, maybe. Probably. You just need to like well, because the better get they do, better or yeah. that's like the better they do, you were like, oh, I like, want like I want. someone who's so awesome or so hype or whatever the thing I you know, like I want the whole show to feel good because that's that you're signing like your audience sees that person as someone who you signed off on. And sure. like that it comes back to you. So yeah, I, I think it should be like a great show. Yeah, and I feel like when Definitely. you leave a concert, you're kind of like that whole thing was great. Yes, like, everything dude. was great. Like yeah. it's all part of it. Whereas like a, if you're going to see specifically Shane Gillis, you're like, I don't really care who's opening. Like I'm just here for well, Shane especially Gillis. his fans probably. Yeah, they're just yeah. like, I only care about this. Yeah, guy. I'm only here for Shane. And it, well, it's, an, like, it's an experience too. If you go to a movie and the first part sucks, you're like, man, I'm so glad that I was in the theater because if I was at home, I would have turned that movie off. You know? Sure. If you're going to a concert, you totally. know, like, man, that opener sucked. But main show was great, but like that opener sucked. Yeah, I don't want to be like that. Yeah. I don't want people to think of me like that. I've always wondered this, and we don't have many musician friends, and you're one of the few musicians that we've actually had on. Which and, I always, and musician and friend. 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 Musician friend. friend. I didn't this meet is, you this is our. Ago. This is us becoming friends right now. Yeah, that's part of this podcast. This is our um, live from But um, my question is, uh, I can't help but think when I'm at a concert and I'm watching people leave before the show's over that I'm like, if I was on stage right now, I'd be like, why is everybody leaving? Have you ever looked out and seen like people walk yeah. out and you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know when it happens is like, and this has just gotten out of control in music, the fake encore. We all know it's going to, if you don't play oh, yeah. your biggest song, yeah. we all know. Yeah. It's not a surprise. So I'm like, I'm actually working on the set list now for the tour. And I'm like, 
I don't know if I want to do that. Like maybe we have it on court prepared, but I'm not going to like do the fake out thing every time unless the crowd's wild. Right, right. Crowd earns it. Yeah. But there's been times where like we end the show and then I come back on to do the big song and I see people walking out the door. And I'm like, hey, there's no traffic, dude. Get back in here. <laughs> We're in Amsterdam. This, you this, guys are fucking biking home. Yeah, Fuck dude. Here. Yeah. Go to hell. <laughs> dude, I would be I would be that musician, though, that like stops the show and is like, what are you guys doing? Why are you guys leaving I'm right now? I'm still performing. Thank yeah. you. Hey, yeah. brown shirt in the back there. Come on, come on. Yeah. Where are you going, man? And second of all, why the fuck are you wearing a brown shirt? Why, yeah, what are you doing? Brown? You look stupid. Pan. Good. Brown back. This is 1997. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, that's when people were wearing I, that's, brown that's, shirts. That's all the, the year time. I was born. That's, uh, that's how I came out in a brown shirt. Yeah, I was way cool. You came out of the brown shirt. You came out with a cigarette. Yeah, you're I was talking sick, shit. dude. <laughs> I was sick. Um, so you, you're not, you're not, are you from LA or no? From Ohio. From Ohio. From Columbus, Ohio. You moved out with the faux hawk or was that pre? Yeah. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Yeah, I, I didn't. I like was going to go away to college and then last minute decided not to. Did like a community college for like a semester and then got a job at Abercrombie and then was like, nah, nah, this isn't for me. Yeah. Uh, was that in Ohio? Or you in Ohio. All in Ohio. Abercrombie in Ohio. Yeah. That's well, that's where it's based. Sick. Really? That's really? where like, so I worked at the headquarters. I, I literally like top. my job was when you walked in the headquarters, I went, hey, what's up? Spray with cologne. I watched nothing but Netflix. Yeah, we had a giant one. We Did you have it. to be shirtless? Because I, I remember there was that brief time where they had the guys just walking around shirtless. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, uh, if you, not at the headquarters, but at the stores, like, yeah, they, they would ask us, like, because you got, like, an extra $100 on top of hourly or something. And If you took your shirt off? Yeah. That's so bizarre. Yeah. That's it's a pretty wild business plan there. <laughs> but it's changed. It's changed now. What did you get, like, if you took your pants off, too? Was that an extra you got, 50 yeah, you something like that. Fired? <laughs> You're like the one time I did it, I got fired. No, so. if you piss on the floor, they'll fire you. But you can take your pants off. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I tried it. Two thousand. So, what year were you working at Abercrombie though? Uh, two thousand fourteen. Okay, was that still? Because there was Abercrombie was like not it for like ten years. It and wasn't now they're really back. it. I it, like Abercrombie. It wasn't a lot. really it. It was like still. It was kind of uncool a little bit, mm. and it was just kind of like just hanging on to. Mm-hmm. Like the cool kids didn't wear it, but people still bought it. Like it was still sure. like a thing. Yeah. And uh, I got fired because I started coming out to Los Angeles a bunch, and like I was like, "Hey, I gotta go to LA tomorrow." And he and the guy was like, "Dude, if you keep doing this, like, I gotta let you go, man." And it was just worth it at some point to be like, "I'm not gonna not go to Los Angeles." And then I stayed. I just stayed here. What did <laughs> you end up doing here when you got here, dude? I this is so wild. I've never had a job outside of music here. So really, really. So for but but I was broke for. F- <laughs> like seven years, like yeah. no money. Uh, slept on futons, slept on couches, slept on floors. Did like a lot of like sync music and and shows and stuff. Like if you pay attention and hear me in every episode of Love Is Blind and every episode of Sons of Anarchy and every episode of like I like did a bunch of that stuff to like get by. Like sync music, like like we like wrote songs like I'm coming. Da, oh yeah, you know, yeah. Like TV songs, like AMC songs. Yeah. Oh my god. And it didn't pay very well, but it was like enough. Pays to, the bills. Yeah, I mean barely. Did a bunch of weird like, like brand deals, like just weird shit. Love for like for like two hundred dollars, you know, like because it's kind of I mean like when you're making those that sync music, is it soulless or is it like? It's, it's good practice to just make something it's I'm kind assuming of that you don't care about, right? I, I, I really don't care about it. And it's funny because you, you can't write to... I've actually never told anybody that that's me on Love is Blind. So that's an exclusive here. Wow. Um, Breaking news. You're I about to be on Love is Blind? No. Yeah, yeah no. I'm, I'm uh, one of the contestants. <laughs> <laughs> better wow. tell my, better I think tell my girl. Be really yeah, upset. Be super weird for yeah. her. <laughs> Honestly, she would probably be, she would probably be like... That's like awesome, as long dude. as it's good television. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is this going to help our careers? Great. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, you can't write too, too good. You can't write too clever when you write that stuff. It's gotta be very broad and it's gotta work for like a war movie, Mm. also a motorcycle show and also the Raiders Mm. game. Mm. Like something about like getting to the top. Yeah. Like clawing your way to the top. That's yeah. Are are you ever just kind of like doing it going, I don't care about this at all. This is just noise at this point. I don't, I don't, I haven't done it for a long time now. Yeah. Um, but near the end, like when I started t- t- touring and stuff, I was like, mm, I don't know if I love this. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. it, is it like licensing? Is it like all those platforms that are out there now? That's like, like music bed and like uh epidemic sound. Is it like just shit? That's 
you put out there and then, then shows pick it up or is it a separate thing? Uh, it's but we do both. Both. Yeah, we did both. Mm. I'm out the game, dude. Back in the day. I retired. I don't know what it's like anymore. I retired. I just scene. try to pitch my own songs now. Mm. Hey, so you're doing. You have one that's going on. Love is blind. Or you no, were? this this uh, this stuff from that like it still gets licensed out from like 2018, 2019. Really? Yeah, it still gets. So it's been on every season. Of Love is blind. Hmm. Oh my god! Most episodes. People it's like some carousel song or something. Are They're, obsessed with that show. Mm-hmm. I, it's very good. I've seen. I've had some DMs season. that were like, "Is this, is this you? I'm you? Really? I was like, "Oh my god, it sounds just like me." <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that is. There are Yuck. well, the reason I'm asking is because there are some real stinker songs in that show. I'd say that show has probably some of the stinkiest background music. Love is blind. Yes. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Not yours, yeah, though. Dude, that was Not unbelievable. Yours. You yours is excellent. That was crazy. <laughs> but the other one. He knows no nah, yeah, I could tell. Oh, no, yours was fucking No, no, no I recognize yours. your voice. I love that episode. <laughs> but I, that's why I was curious, because like... Yeah, there's some sh- bad ones. Shows like that, they just... I, I know they pick up that ro- royalty-free or whatever, the, the sync music, and they just throw it on there. Yeah. Or they pay, like, one-time fee that it's not enough. Do you I think anybody think. watching cares about... Th- sync fees and royalties i just thought about uh, that. watching this podcast yeah uh, oh, absolutely. No. but <laughs> you know it's what i was just, I was just thinking know. about though is uh i don't know if i've ever really paid attention to that music oh like, that's, man it's that, that's that's great that's kind of what it's about isn't that that's kind of yeah. supposed to be it's supposed it's to be the, the feeling background. of like yeah like no knock to you i just like i don't know if i've ever paid it i have no musical talent whatsoever like music is so far removed from me and my family so i think that even when I hear it in the back of a film, I'm like, I don't even, I don't even notice it. Yeah, I mean, but that's <laughs> so anyway. That's most people. Yeah. yeah so anyway, like going on. Uh, <laughs> there, this is a really weird thing that I had to tell you. Uh, we all have like, sort of that movie that you fucking watch. Yes. Ten times, minus Hubie Halloween. <laughs> wow. Isn't that wild, dude? Yeah. Is anyone listening to the music in the background of that movie? No, uh, yeah, I probably, yeah. That yeah. movie, uh, dude. I, every it, October is like the number crazy. one movie on Netflix. Dude, there's oh, just yeah? like, it just like people are like, oh, it's. I'm like, that's the thing. Of, that's what it's supposed to be. It's an Adam Sandler movie. It's yeah. supposed to be like sort of like a farce on. Yeah. But it reminds me bit. of like Hocus Pocus feeling. Mm. Yeah. Which is why I like watching it, and I just watched it last week. Yeah, my my. And I came in here because I watched it like. And I'll watch it again before Halloween. That's hysterical. I love Hubie so, Halloween. That's dude, all dude, my friends yeah. are like. I I watched that interesting the other night with uh, Natasha. I'd never like. I I don't think I've ever watched it. Um, or I think I watched it when it came out, and I've never watched it again. But then, what movie is this? Hubie Halloween. Oh oh oh. You yeah. ever seen it? Um, <laughs> more than you know. <laughs> more than you know. It, uh, like the first time I come on frame, my my tongue's down. Somebody else's throat. Like that's the first bit. And I, hey, I, you're at the party, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I, I, I was like, oh yeah, I think my scene's coming up, and it just cuts to me just, and I'm like, all right, well, there's that. there you go. <laughs> I forgot there about I that am. part, I guess. I also asked you that like I had never seen it. Yeah, you're at the party, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then you, you make totally that girl when you get mad and you call him puby and <laughs> Pew, I do call. I think I call him puby. Right? You call him something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. something messing like with puby. I Dubois, did not. Uh, you didn't watch it? I did not. I started it and I was like, what's going on? He Dude, was, give it a shot. shot. I will give it a shot. I will. That's Everybody your friend's in their movie, bro. Mother I, is and Karen's movie. in it, dude? Yeah. I know. Come on, dude. Watch, every like every friend of his yeah. is in that film. Like every Shaq's in that film. Shaq's in the film for a good minute, too. He's the like uh crossing guard or something like that, right? No, no, that's uh, that's grown ups too. That is uh, grown ups <laughs> too. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I got embarrassed. You're an an God, you I, they just make me feel good and I just I don't think too much when I watch them, I think. Totally. Yeah, it's his thing, except for uncut gems. That I thought God. was the coolest like career transition when it was like he was always this one guy, and then he did uncut gems, and we we're all like, "Whoa!" Yeah. Well, it's so funny Whoa. you should say that. You know that he did that twice, and the first one was Punch Truck Love. Well, of course. Yes. Yeah. Was that as successful though? I don't. Yes. Think so. I don't think so. I, I, I just remember. Mm-hmm. I remember, dude, like barely like seeing that in Blockbuster as a DVD. Punch Truck Love. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because I remember like yeah. picking it up and like looking because I I loved like Big Daddy and Happy Gilmore, and I picked it up and I was like. This looks like something I wouldn't like. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think Uncut Gems was bigger. Well, Punch Drunk Love was Paul Thomas Anderson. We, dude. Sure. To PTA. PTA. Yeah. Uh, and, and Uncut Gems was? The Safety Brothers. Yeah. I was going to say the Farfalli Brothers. The Farfalli? The, the pasta? Yeah. <laughs> the Fairley Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> that was the Fairley Brothers film. So I took a little edible before this. Uh, you seem high. Did you, you actually? I did not, no. 
Have you ever but come here? I was here, thinking honey? how I, I do I do take an edible hey, dude, when I watch Love can you is just Blind. And relax think. a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> guys. I'm, I'm you're not super high, not high dude, right now, guys. What are you talking for about? Sure, we can dude. make you feel high. Probably could honestly. I had a lot of caffeine before I showed up here. Hi. I'm not even driving. <laughs> did you have any alcohol? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, three, what kind? three, four shots. Actually, <laughs> three, four shots, dude. Have you ever had one of these? Is that a Magic Mind? Yeah. Have you done Magic Mind? Oh, dude, I've tried it. Before. I actually love Magic Mind. Dude, the second half of this interview is going to be so much better. I fucking love Magic Mind. Wow, look at that. Magic Mind. I'm about to do a shot right now. Oh, see, this is like, it's like we're on Joe Rogan Experience. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, that's delicious and zesty. Um, delicious and zesty was actually know, my nickname in college. <laughs> delicious and zesty. Did you go to yeah. college? I did, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you go? I went to USC. Oh, nice. Yeah. Did you go to college? I did technically go to college, yes. I went during the pandemic. Can I tell oh. you something that I appreciate about you, Spencer, is that sure. you ask us questions. And most people yeah. don't do that. And it's nice. We had a podcast. I, I think. just have to seem likable, I think. Oh, sure. And it's not yeah. working. Yeah. You a people pleaser? Not great. Uh, maybe a little bit, but I think it comes I think it comes from like sorry, I, I was I, I did I did have a podcast. I still do. We're gonna bring it back up. What do you mean? And I think it comes from, dude, that like doing that podcast was so good for my convo skills. Like it changed just the way I talk to people and like interact with people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. And, and just like I've noticed like doing press on this like new album that I just put out. Like I've been doing so many types of interviews and stuff and it's just easy. Mm -hmm. You know, it taught me to, to not be so like, you Still know how we are when we're younger and like I can't imagine like being child stars and like doing oh. interviews oh i'm a meme now it was of it. fun or whatever you say about yeah, you know. yeah i'm a meme now because he, of he interviews. Big, are you yeah. really oh yeah what's your meme she, uh Dennis, can you me. the meme? yeah can you wait that? is it like a video uh it's it, a video but it's a yeah, photo yeah. mostly we watch the interview? Like, uh we don't it's need jake to watch the interview, short, actually um just say jake short meme who do we know that is like the famous college flag meme that's it that's my meme did you not know that was jake i didn't know that was jake are you Shut fucking the serious, fuck Dennis? You didn't know that was Dennis. me? Dude, I just... I, I <laughs> Did you not know you, that was me? Are That's you, my face. I saw that. I like, that is my face. It's indistinguishable. <laughs> Dude, you didn't look at that and didn't think that that's so are you clearly serious, him? Dennis? Dude, Dennis is melting it. right now. <laughs> He's Dennis did an edible for sure. <laughs> oh my God. Dennis, it, like... That is Jake. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he's got tears, man. <laughs> How did you not know that, dude? <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh I think you're God. the only person that has seen that meme that hasn't been like, oh, shit, Bro, Jake, what that, are you doing, That man? meme on Twitter had like 40 million likes the Insane. first time it came out. That's Something crazy. Insane, it's made a couple dude. rounds. Yeah, but I had I I uh, I remember <laughs> pre inter this, this interview. I was like, oh, what do I? What am I gonna say? My grandma was the person that like was out here in California with me, and that like helped me make my career possible, whatever. And I was like, just tell me what to say. And she said, she's so Christian and so <laughs> sweet, and all of the answers were like about like morals and like how the show is good for like the community and like. My fam, very very <laughs> like press training like, from grandma. It's like thirteen year old, thirteen year old kid. who's like, I think, uh, I think <laughs> this like show is good for families. Dude, you and like, you look like the kangaroo in that video where the kangaroo's <laughs> like, like gets dog. punched and he's like, <laughs> like I'm gonna bash your fucking head in. <laughs> oh my god, oh that is, that really is so good. Click on yeah. the one, the photo to that right, to the right of it. Yeah, oh, wait, oh, to the right, to the right. That's your left. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like I'm looking into a fishbowl. What? <laughs> you know when you see someone through a fishbowl? Oh man, that's so funny. Um, wow, I feel jazzed when I magic mind. Brought thing, to man. you by that meme is brought to you by Dude, magic. A magic mind and a laughing fit is just good for the soul. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. You know. Um. Wait. I okay. I had a question about the the podcast. Um. Yep. What was like the premise of the podcast? Was it just hanging two people? Just just two people. It was really, it was two people. We had guests on every, most times. It was called Wins Lunch. It is called, I'm going to stop saying it was because it's still there. It's, I think you might do it again. And you could do it again. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We That's our whole thing is like, may, you know, we'll start it up again. Maybe, maybe not. But um, yeah, it's called Wins, Wins Lunch. And it's like, it comes from when we were on tour and we would just like, you know, like the, we're just in the back of the, like was when we were in like a minivans and like vans touring. And we'd be like, we're there yet. We there yet? And we we started being wins like lunch. wins lunch. lunch, yeah, yeah. So then we started. We just called it wins lunch, yeah. And we had all the gear, of course, because we do music. And 
Um, it was just a pandemic start. Oh, yeah. We just talked about touring and crazy stories and like wild shit that's happened and funny Good stuff. Good things come what? in the back of a van. Not for you when you they were 12, do. but... <clears throat> wow. <laughs> oh, well, that was my uncle and we don't talk about okay. that. Two episodes um, in a row. You can't make an uncle joke two episodes know, in a row. You make, you make a joke about me getting fucked in the back of a van by a man, so... I didn't say anything about a man. Hey, Dennis. I heard. Dennis, we keep dude. that in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can um, Dennis, can you pull up the meme again? <laughs> Um, uh, what is the, uh, what's the first tour that you went on? Cause you said that you guys were like doing minivans. Now you're in, I'm sure you're in like a, I've done a bunch of versions. I did like a regional one first. Um, I, I mean, dude, I, pl- I was playing shows for like three people. Like, yes, there was a like show Midwest? where there was, yeah. Cincinnati, Louisville. Yes. I'm from Indiana. So in- Indianapolis. Yep. There you go. Is that where you're from? Mm-hmm. Yep. Like Fishers South of yeah. Indianapolis. Yeah. I know exactly or where North- Fishers is. My like my one of my best friends from Shelbyville, if you know it. I know Shelbyville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Mm. Small world. Wow, suburbia. Yeah. Um, Thanks for tuning in, guys. That'll that'll kill the audience. That's crazy that those, that those ten seconds they're gonna knock someone out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, dude, instant, but re- we just look at the YouTube. It literally just <laughs> just drops off. Or. Oh yeah, all those people from Fisher. Ah! Yeah. You don't think we have people <laughs> See, in that Cincinnati? Part's people like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spike, true. Hmm? Sorry about that. I don't think we have people in Cincinnati. There's at least one person. There's at least one person right from now. T- actually, I, I bet we have a lot of people in Cincinnati. Evan's from Cincinnati. Evan, that's no, Evan. that's a hundred percent who we've been around together a bunch. Oh yes, that I makes sense. he'll listen to this maybe. Evan might. He, he might. might. Yeah. yeah. He might. Um, so wh- are you, where were you from in Ohio? Did you do a bunch Columbus. of shows? There? Columbus. Yeah. Yeah. From Columbus, did a bunch of shows there. Did regional tours, and then they just like started um, getting on bigger support, but not like not very big. And then it, genuinely, like my like touring. Um, trajectory is like so grassroots, like it's not like it just it has just been slow like this, like over mm-hmm. the. And then last year I went on like my first major headlining tour, and this year we're going on. A, 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 I guess next year we're going on another one. It's fucking wild. It's so cool. Is it? I mean, is it the best part about it? Because obviously, by like, far, yeah. And there's a lot of artists who don't like to tour, who think it's t- it's too much work, and I. I, it's so much work and you're so tired. What was the deal with the Frank Ocean thing? Like when I think of people who don't like to perform, I think of like whatever Coachella. happened during Coachella. Yeah. Well, do you know what that whole deal was? No. But so, I'm, I'm telling you, some artists don't like, for instance, even like, like Zane from One oh, Direction, yeah. like he doesn't like to tour. Is, he's going on like a, doing a few shows, but people just don't like it. It's... Why don't they do like intimate room tours? So like the whole thing with I don't know. There's like comedians that do like very small. Yeah, (coughs) most comedians don't like to do big. The arena tours. It's very. So I heard someone talking about that was like the laughs sort of echo, but it's totally different for music. It's like once you hear that roar in the front, like then it like picks up and it's just. No, somebody was saying with stand up, like one of the tough parts is that like sound travels slowly yeah. you know Different so it was like of the he was like arena. It, yeah it was like by the you think you didn't get a laugh but like the laugh hasn't happened and you yet. move on too quick yeah and mm-hmm. then you don't give it space yeah and then they were like it's super awkward if you think you're gonna get a laugh and then you're just standing there for a little bit and you don't get the laugh i uh, yeah comedy is definitely a different animal in that way it's yeah, yeah. it's it's like i i don't think it i get why it's in arenas because of how much money your you guarantee make, is yeah. and like yeah and there's two there's people that are like like Joe Rogan's too big to to yeah. he would have to play like twenty five nights at the Will Turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, like if Shane Gillis was coming into town and he was like gonna go to the comedy store, there'd be a line. Yeah, literally all the way down Sunset. And there is sometimes. Yeah, but that's why they pop in. Do you like stand up comedy? Love it. Got <laughs> got weird dialed in to uh, start playing basketball with my friend who's a comedian. Um, and then we played again, and then like all the comedians were there, and then I just began like just forced my way into being friends with a bunch of them, mm. and so just like so get free passes to the comedy store all the time. Oh, that's oh. nice. Love it, love it. Nothing better than stand- live stand up comedy. It's, it's my, just, my favorite, dude. Just, just in a room full of people belly laughing, like that's like the best feeling ever. I yeah. decided that I think the best comedy is during the week. I think that weekend shows are for tourists, and I dude, think the, the for sure weeknight shows are like, like Wednesday, Wednesday night. <laughs> yeah, so it's good. always a killer. Wednesday yeah. nights are like. The lineup is insane. Because I I love, and I don't know if like most people love it, but I I love like when I've gone and seen big comedians like Bill Burr with just there that he's like, dude, I just really like this is the first time I'm trying these. One of my favorite things ever. And they're just like reading it off the page. I'm like, this is awesome to hear. Yeah. Because like once it's like so structured and so perfect, it's obviously amazing. But like to hear them like say it and like kind of come up with the bit while they're doing it, 
Oh, it's like the, that's the coolest thing. It's I've seen amazing. that with him, Chris D'Elia. Um, I watched this whole, Louis did a thing at the cellar and he was just literally just reading like terrible jokes. Just like not, most of them weren't even funny. And he was like, that's Dude, not funny. <laughs> people that are at the top of their game like that, I, I won't say his name because it, I want, I do want it to be a surprise, but I recently have been working with this massive rapper, which is really out of my, yeah. <laughs> vision of what would happen you in my could, life. You could go down that route, you know. Yeah. Life is long. But uh, it'll make sense when I tell you after we get off who it is. Um, but it's it was crazy to see this person like write like their verse. Yeah. Like sit here and then say something and be like, no, nah, it's whack. And like go back and like fix it. And it was just, I was just like, I had the headphones on so I could, you could hear like the mouth clicks and everything of like, no, 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 no. It was just so crazy to watch like a, a true like genius like make something happen yeah was he writing it as he was yes before? that's crazy. like he had some ideas like percolating right. but it, it was like like literally like we'll go for a take and be like no no, no let me try it again and we'll like try adjust, like uh, yeah is he words. gonna be in one of your songs is that what this uh, is are you guys doing something together can you not share there's what is this i'll are share you with just, you i'll share with you after okay great Good. oh yeah that's the best part of the I, show that's so really, i get all the insider information. But, i mean that's the coolest part about being in LA or like in the arts and the industry, you get to see people like that, that are just so good at yeah. what they do. Literally top of their game. Yeah. Like it's really, really nuts and, and special when you can see someone do that, their thing mm. that they're known for. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cool. We were, we, the last interview we did was with uh, Madison Thompson and she had done a season of Ozark and worked with like Bateman and all, and all, all Bro, the that show is just so damn good. Yeah. So good. It's, it's amazing. But she was just saying like that, like that's the best master class you can get is like just working with it. Like to work with like Jason Bateman. That's just, it's like, that's yeah. the goal. I know. And that's like just yeah. going to be unbelievable. Jason, yeah. Do you want to expand? I mean, you've already done the. <laughs> sure. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> I believe you. I did believe it. Um, do you want to do like uh, anything? Like that was Jason Bateman, guys. You no, didn't understand what I was doing. Don't worry. Doing. Got um, it. I was waiting for my arena laugh, but it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Hey Dennis, can we cut that part out? Just your golf. Hey mask. Dennis, keep that in. <laughs> um, I will keep it in. Do you want to? Okay, you've yeah. done the, like the no syncing for shows or the sync music. Do you want to? And, uh, and Maddie acts. Do you? Do you guys do like shorts or anything or like? Or do you do? Are you an actor as well? Is that yeah. I, I, once again, during the pandemic, I I I did a few things, um, and I just haven't booked anything <laughs> since. But yeah, um, me neither. To the club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was. It was. It's so hard right it's now it's brutal she's out in there. she's in ireland shooting for the next like six months oh yeah super brutal out there yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, literally it's gotta suck. Um, that's kind of cool though you could, you're gonna go on tour and then you oh yeah yeah that's why it. i booked the dublin show i was like well i'm gonna be there anyway that's oh, yeah. awesome um yeah I, I did some stuff and i like fell in love with it i was like this is awesome mm -hmm. this is so cool my first thing the first thing i ever did was actually on her show like five years ago it's called still the king and it was just because i was dating her and billy ray cyrus saw me and said you look like a young me and i went <laughs> <laughs> billy you're, you're hammered you should have long hair right <laughs> yeah um no i didn't i had faux hawk at the time this is a, oh never mind and so they put me in a mullet wig and i played like a young him on the show like just in one scene um it was a cmt show it was kind of low-key and then and then so i the first thing i really did was i i i booked this netflix movie that i played like a pop star in and it was like so it was like easy because i got to write music for the movie and that was, we went to South Africa and like I was on set for the first time and I was like, oh my God, dude, this is awesome. This yeah, is like scratching crazy. that itch. Like it just felt so magical and cool. Um, and then I did another show after that and I haven't done anything since. I've gotten, obviously, like we all have like really close and some stuff. Mm. But if I get an audition and it says like this shoots in February to April of next year, I'm like, why well, couldn't do if it. I tried? Yeah. 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 That's always a tough. Do you still do the audition though? Just it depends like, on what it is. Yeah, because you got to do it. Because my agent's always like, "Well, it'd be nice to get in front of that casting." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's always nice to get in front of that casting person, by the way. And it's also like one of those things too, because there's so little auditions right now. It was like I got an audition the other day for that thing that we both went out for. Uh, the you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I want to. You got to tell me that after. Yeah, it's not that exciting, but um, it's, really... it, it's just so not a film that like I have interest in or like that I would want to do or that honestly I'd even be good at. And my my manager was like, you're more than welcome to pass on this. And I was like, dude, if there was more than one audition a month at this point, I would gladly pass on it's it. It's crazy. But I'm yeah. like, 
I, I want to do it just so that I can do it. Like I enjoy just yeah. reading it. And he was like, yeah, I'll just do it. And I was like, I'm not going to get it. And that's just fine. to even like, flex that. Like, yeah, you just, muscle just to bit. work yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Cause it's so miserably slow. I saw one in five projects, one in five episodics are filmed in Los Angeles now. Dude, it's getting bad. Yeah. There's like nothing is but filmed. I'm, it's funny. Cause I feel like a lot more is actually filming here now than was like pre pandemic. Or maybe you just know about it. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, it is really be. nuts. Like that's, it, it's in, you know, Montreal or yeah. Toronto or Atlanta or Ireland. Anywhere else but here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's crazy. That it's cheaper to bring an entire production, everybody hire out and go across the world than it is a shoot here. And I don't understand, like, I mean, I, I don't know the politics of it, but I don't understand why California is not just like, hey, you know, this is where film industry is. Like Los Angeles, that's where film is. Like, shouldn't we it, it feels want that people easy. working here? It feels yeah. like they should just be like, hey, we're going to go ahead and give these people a little tax break or whatever the thing is. Because everybody lives here and they're still building studios. Right. They're still building studios. Yeah. I got to imagine that those sound stages are just empty right now. Like, I don't know I don't for know. sure, but I feel like, Dennis, can you make more noise, please? Um, She's drinking water. <laughs> Um, Poor guy. Dude, I, I want him to start laughing again. That was so yeah, good. <laughs> Watching just his back jiggle. Your <laughs> meme is still up. <laughs> it's still there. He's just shocked. Awesome. He's been staring at it for so long. <laughs> He's like, I thought I recognized you from somewhere. <laughs> um, is that you come out of the womb? Yeah. What was I saying? Hey. Um, <laughs> you were talking about studios? Yeah, and I, and I don't know like for sure, but okay. I have to imagine like somewhere like Fox Lot is just empty. Like most of those stages, because nothing films on sound stages. I also anyway. don't know about you guys. I know it's necessary, but I f really hate self tapes. I hate them oh, so much. The oh, the worst. It's not. It's never been enjoyable for me no. ever. Um, I loved going into the room because at least if you like, you could try. But it, if you fucked up, you fucked up. You can walk away. You're done. Yeah. Um, if you're not what they're looking for, they don't make you do seventy takes like we do at home. And there's something also so rad. I've I've only had like a couple auditions like on. Um, like walking on the Fox lot is so cool. Yeah. yeah. Walking on like it makes Warner you feel Brothers. like an actor. Yeah. You it get like the makes map you... and they're like, hey, sir, you're yeah. Gonna go How here. cool is that? You wait in like a room with everybody that looks like you and you're mm -hmm. like, that's the job. Like that's that cool. was the job. Now it doesn't feel like a job at all. Actually. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I was thinking about it too the other day. <clears throat> Remember if you would have like, if you had like five callbacks in a year, mm -hmm. you'd be like, Hey, you know what? Like I'm close. Like I know I'm knocking on the door. This was a good year. Like I, I, I have some progress here. Sure. There's no such thing as a callback really anymore. And like it's different. Yeah. You don't hear anything, so you don't know. But at least like if you had that callback, you're like, you know what? I did better than most everybody else. And like I, I was doing something right. And after that first audition, at least it just was out of my control. But like this is like you don't hear anything unless you're like, oh, you're pinned for it, and you're like, oh, okay, pinned. pinned. Yeah, pinned is so cruel. Just don't even tell us. Yeah, just don't tell us. Like yeah. just. Why do you I want to know when I'm available? Just ask me if I'm available. Before. And also, I'm gonna be available. <laughs> also, yeah, of course. That's always the one that's so funny. Yeah, that's that's the and that's the, honestly the hard thing. Like, but there's stuff that I wanted. I I, I would love to do like a biopic of mm -hmm. some of like fucking Jim Morrison or or someone Ooh, like that. You could play Jim Morrison. Like something something where it's like a. Uh, time like in the 70s or 60s or 80s or something where i can play like an art like george michael i'd love like to do literally george michael. elvis mm -hmm. like what about uh, literally uh, the lead singer one. of the I, I could not do better than than us than oh my what god what about julian casablancas mm. band coming together early 2000s is that coming out uh no you should do that okay I, cool I <laughs> yeah can you right set that, that up yeah can you give me a write that film and then also put yourself in 45 million dollars can you put us in it too please yeah we'll be back if you find the fun if you find the funding i'm gonna put you in yeah, yeah, thank you. That'd be great. Yeah, we're working on that's right nice. now. That's nice. That is like, um, I, see, I I feel as if when I hear like musicians want to get into acting, I'm like, that makes sense. Like that transition makes sense to me because I feel like it's such a performative thing. You, you don't know? think it's the very other way? Expressive. I, I I just feel like when people go into music, it feels like hold to on, me, dude, Jeremy Renner, dude, fantastic artist. <laughs> sure, but like I feel like people, <laughs> his yacht rock, dude. I don't know yeah. if like the music industry, and I could be wrong about this. Fantastic. It just feels so oversaturated. It feels like everybody it's, has like everybody's an, an artist, out. yeah. Which is the worst and kind of the best thing about it, because that's that's like the point, right? Is yeah. for us to all to be able to live our dreams. And dude, I got to be honest, like social media had like changed my life like three, 
four years ago, like just a couple of years ago. Like that's, that was, that was the breaking point for me that like it started working. Yeah. Was TikTok and reels and like sure. all did, that stuff. Did you have shit pop off that like yeah. out of nowhere? Yeah. Like over and over and over and over. And I had never had like that before I was doing the grassroots touring, which I kept doing, but it's, but also I, I know what you mean. It's like, it's so oversaturated and there's so many, yeah. so many artists. You just see like people and it's like everybody's coming out with a song or like an album or something like that. And you're like, you're making it seem like it's this easy thing to do. And it's like, it's not this easy thing at all. And I think that maybe when people like go from like music to acting, I'm like, Hey, if you want to get into the shit storm, go ahead. Like, yeah. you know, so Matt, that's what Maddie said to me like over and over. She's like, it's, it's not for the faint of the heart. Yeah. Like seriously, if like, I feel like, you can go make music maybe on your own. You can make it at your home and like try it out with acting. It's like, dude, you got to wait till somebody else can. Yeah. Like you said, $45 million totally. for a project and then maybe you get it. So it's like, if you want to try come doing this shit, go ahead. Cause it sucks. I yeah. Don't know why anybody would do this there. I, f I do feel like, like, like you can listen to stuff and, and tell if it's quality music or not. And for like, sure. Yeah. I've just outweighed so many other artists. Like I've just, that's, that's what been we're the, talking about. That's yeah. what been the whole too. thing, dude. Yeah. You just like everybody doesn't make it for so long and they all quit and hey, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still here playing three shows in Amsterdam. Same thing. If you, <clears> It's <throat> not for the faint of the heart. Also, like if you're doing it just to, it's kind of like what you said, like you came out here and you were just doing like Maroon 5 pop and you were like, this is not who I am. Once you figured out who you were and what you wanted to do, yeah, you figure out a way to make money, but then you figure out a way to fulfill yourself. Yes. And but for Huge. years, it's not, it wasn't, I mean, it was like kind of working but not really mm -hmm. but a lot of people that's just too much you know and i get it dude it's like yeah especially if you're from like the midwest and you saw your friends getting married and like yeah going to college and get married and every time i go back there there's someone too that's like oh I'm so pregnant. uh what are you what are you doing and i'm like still trying to uh, worked a lot still trying to work as much as i can they're it's like, fucking crazy they're like yeah i know it's hard and i'm like yeah it is hard deborah <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking difficult. I know your husband works in construction. Dude. That's gonna there's gonna be buildings, huh? There was this And I'll be on your goddamn TV, Deborah. Yeah, Deborah. Or, or your kids. <laughs> Dude, Deborah struck. I just ha I hate when people do that. I just made up his own argument and I got did. so pissed off. I know, dude. I was like low key, like about to talk about something. Like, I was like, fuck you, Deborah. Yeah, he's fucking, like still going on. I want to be in your like, we gotta head out tonight, Deborah. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm starting thing. to feel like Deborah was a real person. It was a real person, yeah. Uh, no, I'm saying you have to have more faith in yourself than anyone because... If yeah. People aren't going to believe in you. That, is Deborah the, the real name of the person? Uh, no, just like an old lady. She was one of my mom's friends. Dude, friends oh my God, bro. I'm like, it's always mom's friends. My mom had this friend that like said, like, would just... Co like, I don't think they understand. Maybe it's the generation, but she would comment shit on my Facebook posts of like... Spencer, why are you wearing that? Like, just like, <laughs> thanks. I was like, bro, <laughs> thanks. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah, she said, ew, I don't like that. Like, I don't like this outfit. She's like multiple times. Mm. It was crazy. Okay, thanks. No, I like, I like, I like bitch back at her. My mom, my mom got mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got really mad at a at a wedding recently because I I saw a childhood friend. Okay, who I I've known genuinely my whole life, and like follows me on Instagram. You know, like we know each other. We were sitting at the same table at this wedding and we, she was like, well, what's like, what are you up to? And I was like, oh, just, you know, just trying to work as much as possible. And she goes, what do you do for work? And I was like, that's so rude. Like, that was so rude. I'm like, you know what you're doing. Yeah, it's it's so silly. It's so silly. It just was like, that. Was, and then I, I'm like, what do you want me to say? I'm an actor. Yeah, I'm an actor. And she's like, are you working right now? And I'm like, I guess not. Like whatever. Like it was just like the whole conversation. I was like, I don't, I don't want to have this conversation. It's at all. it's it's weird. It's weird for people that don't get it and understand it. Unless yeah, because they it's see like, your it's movie. Awful. <laughs> it's like an awful thing. Nothing's worse than when people are like, "Are you still trying to act?" Or like, "Yeah." Or like, you still doing that music thing? Is yeah, the thing yeah, I yeah. Get. yeah, yeah. I'm damn. like, yeah. Your daughter has tickets to my show tonight. <laughs> Deborah. Deborah. <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> and what? And also, why the fuck are you in Columbus tonight? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you supposed to be in I know it's like three hours from Indianapolis, but what the fuck are you doing here, Deborah? <laughs> well, That's it. I'm going to kick you in the shins, and I'm going to fucking egg your car. I'm going <laughs> to siphon the gas out. I'm going to spray it all over your car, and I'm going to light your car on fire, Oh, my Deborah. God. That's how you went in your tour, right? That's how, you, uh, that's how it started. Sorry, I blacked out. <laughs> so, 
before we let you go, what is like, what's, what's the goal? What's the dream? Like what, where do you want to be in like, am I still doing that music? (laughs) Yeah. You still still trying that music thing out? We're already touring. So, you know, yeah. I mean like, do you, I I mean like, I don't know because I, I, I look at it from like the acting perspective of like, if I asked you, like, what do you, it's, it's not a dumb question because like, I don't think you would want to be like a, a Ben Affleck celebrity kind of person. Like you'd want to just be a working actor. Like, sure. You know, doing, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. movies. I mean, and like, me wrong, I'd like to be a Ben Affleck. But. You'd like to be Ben Affleck rich. You wouldn't want to be Ben Affleck celebrity. You just want to be married to oh, JLo yeah. for a little bit. Yeah. Just yeah, for yeah, twice just for a little bit, a little bit then, yeah. sometimes. Um, but like, you know, I, I would imagine like a lot of musicians are like, I don't want to do like a big arena tour. I'd li- oh, I like I do. doing the small stuff. Like, is mm-hmm. that but what I do? I, I've, I've always wanted to do that since I was a kid. Sure. But my like first goal was like, I just want to be able to play shows in different states. Mm. And at, like when you break every goal, it just it keeps getting bigger and nothing's ever enough kind of thing. So I I think like I'd like to be able to play like MSG and, and do yeah. those things things oh, like hit those sick. hit those markers um but the main thing is i just want to keep touring and gr- and growing my numbers i don't have to explode overnight and play msg next year but i just want to keep doing that and, and like and keep touring and i want to act more and yeah they're all like like i want to do stuff like biopics and i want to i want to do um more like rock opera type albums and mm. and just keep keep building it is fucking cliche as that sounds like yeah. genuinely that'd keep be doing so cool shit that people care about yeah just keep like hope they tune in keep rising from the ashes <laughs> <laughs> but it would be so cool though for you to do like and uh, get into voiceover a movie rising from the ashes that's that's the would best love job to get into voiceover yeah. and the, um, voiceover is the best job but it'd be cool for you to do something where you're like where you're acting and music and you can combine like the two of them and like you're playing a musician and feel like feel like that would just be like the easiest gig in the world for you yeah you know well, that's when I did like it. My hell, I want to. I like I said, dude. I want to do like, I want to fucking be George Michael in a movie. Just feather my hair. Mm. How ha, have we not had a George Michael? No, biopic? it's crazy. Or who else? Uh, who else has long who hair? Else? That was like a young, like or like an eighties musician. Just uh, white, every white guy, white guy with long hair, long Def, hair. Peter Def Leppard, Peter Frampton. I'll um, look like anybody. The Bee Gees. Mm-hmm. They're making a yeah, Kiss man. biopic. You could do that. I could sing like that. I think, but you I feel like you could. Too. I could be. I could be. Uh, I could be a young uh, Paul and, Stanley. And also, like, just once all their face craps on. Like, yeah, I can't think of one Kiss song right now. I want to rock and roll all night and yeah. party That's every it. day. Okay, yeah, and what's the one more? Back in the New York groove. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then one more. No, I didn't know the first one. Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Favorite musician growing up? Elvis. By far, really, yeah. My, I'd say my Mount Rushmore is Elvis, Queen. I hate to tell you, they just did a biopic about Elvis. And I don't know if you and saw that, but Queen, yeah. I mean, Elton, and John. Queen. Yeah, Elton John, and that one, yeah. And the Temptations. Those are my. Mm. That's my, my Mount Rushmore. I think. Mm. How um, did you get into that? Are your parents like big into? That? Yeah, okay. they they played like like growing up. They played Elvis and they played the Beach Boys and. David Bowie and like all this ah. just crazy stuff. My dad like loved DMX, like the, it, all kinds of music. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's my certain. white suburban dad loved DMX. Yeah. Like it was cool to be introduced to all this like stuff. Yeah. Yeah. My, my dad loves rap too. Yeah, dude. It's, it's just like very bizarre. It's just like, I don't know. He, he My dad loved Green Day, like crazy, yeah. crazy taste. I, Did you ever have like a, you, I mean, you had the faux hawk. Did you ever have like a real like punk rock phase? Like a little bit. Yeah. 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 I had, um, I had like a yellow card kind of, yeah. Uh, uh, mine was green day and blink and like, yeah. Yeah. A little yellow card, um, yeah. cartel that, oh, oh yeah. And I, I tried to skate, but I, I was 275 pounds in like eighth grade freshman year. Are you joking around? No, I swear. <clears throat> so like, I was like. Hang I on. was like in a band what? if the band ate too many corn dogs. <laughs> Bro. Like I was like You were two hundred and seventy five pounds? Yeah. Were you still six two? Where like were you yeah. No, yeah. no, he but like, actually at the time. But was I'm six like one eighty now, like one eighty five maybe. Like I was like uh, I lost hundred pounds. pounds, yeah. It was crazy, bro. Did you lose a hundred pounds like just like puberty life kind of made you no, lose I, it, or did I, you have to like I like worked at it, but it, I lost it when I was like 17. So it came off pretty easy, like pretty fast. Yeah. I like made a choice and, and was running like three miles in the morning, three miles at night, every day, eating nothing, probably not super healthy. And I came back like, 
I started losing it my junior year of high school, and then over that summer, I lost like 50 pounds, and I went back. It was you the just first felt like time a king, I, didn't you? I ever got it, like girls' attention. I was like, <sighs> I got, I'm gonna keep losing it. <laughs> yeah. I gotta keep going. I'm gonna wither away. <laughs> <more pounds. laughs> so I got out of 93 pounds. Okay, well, well did, how did you? I mean, this is a stupid question, but like, what, did you have like a bad metabolism and you just slowly crept up to 275, or were you just eating like? I, I was crap. I was like a big baby. Like I was like I forget how much I was like. 13 pounds, 12 and a half pounds or something. Oh, like, I was like a big that's baby. A Coming baby. out of the womb? Yeah, well, that's a massive yeah. baby. It's, golly, dude. Yeah. I, well, I, poor mother. You walked out? <laughs> yeah, dude. I fucking rolled out. Um, dude, you were was like five out. So I was always, I was always big. I'm just picturing them. I just like, in high school, I just fucking, dude, I just ate. I just ate so much food. Yeah. How? Like I just like, Huh? Like at home or like <laughs> just mean, throughout yeah. the day? You're just like fucking. I don't know. I just like. I How'd you eating. do that? How'd you eat all that? <laughs> How'd you do that? Huh? Well, I don't know. When you journalism in high school. How? Dude, have you Where ever had a fucking corn dog? Yeah. Have you ever? Yeah. That's how. No, he doesn't just, get it. He, I, I, as a as a former fatty myself, he doesn't <laughs> understand because he has an amazing metabolism. Also, when I'm doing like in high school, in my high school, when I was sitting there studying, I would sit at my desk for four hours and then not eat. So like I wouldn't no. stand. You up. didn't bring snacks. No. He doesn't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. He doesn't get no. it. I don't get he doesn't it. understand binge eating. I mean, eating. I, like yeah, yeah. It was after school. I would go eat like there you go. Just after handfuls school, yeah. of just, shit. Too. I mean, dude, I would like. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I don't even want to walk I'm, through it. I'm with you, man. <laughs> I, I so get this feeling. I would eat so much, right? And then I would take more snacks to the basement and play fucking video games. Fall asleep, wake up, eat, eat dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and have a snack before I went to bed. Like yeah. it's bad, dude. No, I'm with you. I That's we were standing awesome. at Bristol Farm the other day and I was looking at this uh like banana bread loaf. And I was like, I could eat that whole thing. Yeah. And like, all of a sudden, like six more breaded treats appears and he goes, and that I could eat I was like without yeah, a doubt. Yeah, you you get it. If you stop eating when you're full, right? Um <laughs> unless if the plate is clear. Yes, I'll stop eating. I have full. thrown up from eating too, too much multiple times. Me too. To where like I went home and was like, I'm, I have to throw up. Not because like I'm not going to stick my finger down my throat. I'm going to throw up. No, because that's I what I mean. Shove too much. Food not in my that mouth. way. Like I'm saying, like I'll if I if if something doesn't come up, I'm going to pass yeah. out. Yeah, like, I have to throw up. <laughs> I can't. I've woken up in the middle of the night like I'm still full, so full that I can't sleep. Dude, I have been in fetal position on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is like a real. This is a real. And thank God, dude, I feel like I've like, I've like really, and obviously you have to like figured it out. Yeah. Um, and after I get done with tours, dude, like, Just, oh my God. Cause I'll, what, I'll like during the show, like, but I, you're sweating your ass off. I'll have though. these fucking yeah. jumpsuits that I take off and I, sometimes I'm shirtless on stage. And so I have to like really behave myself on tour. I'm eating like super clean, working out every day. But after that last show, I mean, dude. Just dirty. You don't want to see his it. His Oreos. My what guitarist was like, dude, I don't, I'm actually like really grossed out by you right now. Yeah. Like I, I was I, eating like. My mom's told me that before. <laughs> what is it? What do you eat? What is I, everything in like, sight. Yeah. He, he like, he, he can go through a, a whole package or it's a sleeve of Oreos. No, the whole pack. Yeah, you could definitely do that. That's du kind of. Double stuffed family size. I could eat the whole thing. <laughs> I have eaten the whole thing. I'm not kidding. You. That <laughs> is bro. not even. That is cl close, if not five thousand calories. Oh, it's, probably, it's probably it's probably at least five thousand. <laughs> I mean, easy, bro. So okay, <laughs> we did, I did a twenty thousand calorie day once. I'm gonna hook you up with these guys. That you would have to throw up. You'd explode. I didn't actually throw up that day, but it was a bunch of peanut butter, which you know. Oh, okay. I'm well, gonna I mean, I'm gonna set you up with these guys from uh, the Friday beers team who do this. Uh, they do sixty for sixty, where you have oh, sixty dude. minutes to eat sixty dollars worth of fast food. And so I went on it and I did in and out. You've got it, right? Bro, you'd be surprised how much food it takes to get to sixty dollars at in and out. I That's did why it's cheap. I forgot about that. Super mm -hmm. cheap. I how many burgers did I eat? I think I, I ate four. I think I ate four double doubles. <laughs> I had Fuck. um two orders of fries and um half a milkshake. I mean, dude, your stomach was just a brick, huh? I was I went home and I threw up. Yeah. But I was like, <laughs> in the moment, I was like, no biggie. Like, I'm devouring this. The first few burgers went down so easy. Like, so easy. The if first I didn't, few burgers. Yeah, dude, if I didn't have to talk, like, they're doing an interview at the same time. And they're, yeah. like, making me laugh, too. If I didn't have to talk, I think I could have done the whole thing. Fra yeah, those guys are funny. Hysterical. Is that Angus? You would love it. Yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know him. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys not well, but we know each other. And like we DM and stuff. Dude, you should go on that show. They, they are love hilarious. You. It is also, it's so funny. They, that was my favorite interview I've ever done. Their improv is crazy too. Yeah. I don't like. They're hysterical. They called me before and they were like, "Hey, can you give us anything on Bradley that like isn't out there?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" They're like, "Just give us some dirt that we can use." I was and, listening to these analytics or looking at these analytics. I was looking. At it. Um, I have a and clip. I gave him like five, five or ten things. And they wow. out. So there's this clip of me on that show laughing because they, um, he told them that my dad got his uh, gallbladder removed. <laughs> so halfway through the interview, they hand me a gallbladder and they're like, we got this for you for and your dad. And it looks like a real... Yeah. Like the one they pulled so out. So they were like... That's so them too, to get you like a... Bro, oh, and so yeah. they're like, it's a gallbladder. I'm like, what? And they're like, we heard like somebody in your family needed one. And I'm like... What are you? You just lied I'm like to him. Dying, laughing, dude, because like my dad did have his gallbladder removed, and I'm like, I've never told anybody. This was like two years ago, and it didn't even dawn on me that when I got the phone call, like I was in the car with him, like we were supposed to go play golf with my dad, and he was like, Hey, I'm going to the hospital. Like I'm getting my gallbladder removed. But so oh that video has 594,000 likes. It's been sent to on TikTok. This is on Instagram Reels. It got sent to nine hundred or, or ninety four thousand sends, and then um, I've never seen. I bet you have like seen that. it before. Sixty thousand people saved it, and then it has. Dude, that's uh, the number that actually is nuts to me. I it know. has nobody saves that. Five point three million views on it. Damn, it's bizarre, bro. I'll take credit for that. I'll take credit for Literally. fifteen of those views. Shout out! Thanks for the sixteen thousand followers. Is really what it is. I appreciate that. Oh, you're just on your insights right now. Yeah, no. I'm actually just going to make a few phone calls if you guys want. Okay, cool. Great. <laughs> I got some business to attend to real um, quick. Speaking of insights, your, is your, what is the tour called? Is it the name of your album? It's called, yep. It's called The Drama World Tour. And um, we're, we're going to fucking rock out. It's going to be amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say to anybody watching, if you haven't got tickets, then I, you're dead to me. So you're doing sure. a U.S. Well, tour? Yep. When you, what, what months are you here? He's uh, here on April February 4th. through April. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so LA we'll, on April. 4th. Yeah, would love to have you guys out to the show. Absolutely, yeah. It'd be fun. That'd well, be we'll a buy a ticket. Thirty-five dollars no. on his website. You checked it out. On. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I don't know. How no, much I'm certainly going. not going to buy it. But if you can like just shoot over a ticket or anything, yeah, that'd yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be sweet. A little yeah. VIP balcony situation. Yeah, we'll, we'll just call. Oh. You know, we'll the send podcast, the mixing area where the, the where are you what is. what show are you doing or what venue here? It's called the Belasco Theater. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful room. Yeah. Don't they have one in New York too? They have the Beacon. Uh, mm. Beacon. Maybe they, I think there's a Blasco in New York, but the Beacon, <clears throat> Louis did a show there. Talked about Louis C.K. 75 times on this podcast. He's a funny guy. Very, very, very funny. Yeah. Also, can I just say, you have a fantastic voice. So I was listening to your music on the way here. It was. Oh, dude, don't start no, no. this shit now. Because yeah. before these cameras started rolling, he was talking yeah. so much like, shit about my ass, voice. Bro. No, you have a great voice. And I actually then I appreciate that. Think, and his wig. Yeah. I started to think about, um, <laughs> there's nothing more annoying when you have a friend who has a good voice. Because here's why. I can't just randomly pull out acting skills. But if I'm in the car with somebody who's a really good singer and they start singing, it's like, fuck. You couldn't like, monologue? You couldn't Shakespeare monologue? <laughs> yeah, dude. If we're just in the car and then I'm like, here's a good bit. Like, let me just work on some new material. You'd be like, father, shut up, father. <laughs> Or whatever. A he Hamlet will do that, thing though. Is. Do you know any Hamlet? Uh, absolutely not, Hamlet. no. Is that the one you're not supposed to say? Like his name? Yeah. Isn't No, what's, what's the what's, what's the one? Macbeth? Macbeth. Yeah. Oh, I can't Dude. Shouldn't have said that, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the I roof loved, falls in on you. Dude, I loved Macbeth. Did you watch the, the Denzel Washington tragedy of Macbeth? No. Oh, it's really cool. I did a, it's really cool. the music video for the lead song drama, and it the whole video is like me auditioning for the drama club. Um, mm. And we had like a couple, like I had the skull in my hand for part of it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, we put like a couple of Shakespearean Can you things in there. put me in a music video? I've always wanted to be in a music Dude, video. Dude, I would love for you to be in a video. I would, I've always wanted to be in a music video. I've been waiting for somebody to ask me to be in a music video. I'm, not I, you, you're I'm, gonna, I'm you're your guy. Be you can be in the next bro. one. Please. I yeah. want to just not talk. Like that this you're gonna be a prop. so fun. I'll be a prop? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Just pick me up and use me like a prop. Actually, I think that'd be a good idea. You can just be like a table at one point. You can be a chair at one <laughs> yeah, point. The, we did that with, so I'm just literally in this last video, um, Maddie's been in like so many videos. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sure. So everybody knows that she's going to be in there. And we had, uh, we had our... Olivia Holt, you know Olivia? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we had her like just sit in the audience, and there's so many comments on YouTube. That are like, Is that fucking Olivia Holt? Dude, that's oh, I love. I wanted to do that. So, so yes, bad. dude, you're in the next 100. It's my favorite thing when like 
I just want to like, be standing in it. So fucking like in a, like the Wallows video, Noah Centineo was in there. They were just oh, like, yeah. what? what is he doing in there? Not, not print, not announced. Just, he's just I the bartender. I don't know if I Dude, Dennis, should give this Dennis away, but I, I have, I've had this idea for the longest time of like, like, do you like back to the future? This it's my a, number one favorite movie. Really? Yep. Okay. So Boy, <laughs> yeah, in the second back to the future. Marty. <laughs> yeah. You, Doc, you're never going to believe this. We got to go back to 1955. Oh, fuck. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the second one, they go back to the scene in the in the first one, right? And he's yep. like crawling up on the thing where he's playing the guitar. It made me think, though, it, like if you had that idea for the second film, like you knew you were going to be doing that second film and he was going to come back in. I think it would be so cool to shoot a movie like that. Where like you, if you went back and watched the first one, you would actually see like future Marty like climbing around up top, and or not like like notice it really. Yeah, because like if you yeah. watched the first one, you would never notice. But then if you're like, oh, I go back and watch it again, mm. you're like, oh, there he is, like he's walking through the crowd. Like that's I've always thought that would be so cool, but yeah. it's got to be hard to do because like you would you have to know, know that you're gonna make. Yeah, like you got to know that Back millions, to the Future One is gonna be on. huge. Yeah. It's just so massive. Such Can a- I just say Back to the Future Three is criminally underrated? Yeah, I, I also, I, it's not, it's my third favorite of the movies, but yeah. I like love it. I think it's, it's it's a fantastic great. film. It's like a great I think it's such a fun. It just a, it's a different vibe, and people are like, they want the '50s and '80s vibe, but it's. Do you like one or list. two better? Um, it's actually, I think I like one more. Yeah, but it's not really by a lot. Listening to John Mulaney break down that film of like what that movie is actually about is hysterical. Mm. Have you ever seen this? Clip? No, bro. Oh, I'll man. send it to you. He goes off on like how creepy it is. Like the whole movie is like this I mean, guy who's trying to avoid his mom fucking him. It's yeah. the whole movie. Actually, he's gonna I go back in time, time and then his mom's gonna try to have sex with him. Yeah, and yeah. he was talking about how like he <laughs> hangs out with like the this like uh, crazy scientist that nobody like a disgraced wants scientist. Yeah. A disgraced yeah. scientist who nobody hangs out I with like this, this kid. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Dude, that's that so, so good. Funny. Well, he, when, when Marty McFly plays Johnny be good, like on guitar, it like, that's why I think I liked it so much as a kid. Cause I loved rock and roll. And like, yeah. And I saw that and I was like, this is awesome. So I like full house. Cause uncle Jesse was basically just an Elvis knockoff. Mm. Dude, it was kind of an Elvis. I was, I always back to John Stamos. I was watching old episodes of Full back. House the other day, and I forgot how much I love that show. It's I awesome. I loved bro. Full House. Hey, whatever happened to that guy, the other Nick uncle? Billy D, Milkman, Not John the Stamos. Boy. You're it's talking just, about. Uh, this was funny that you said whatever happened. And that's you're talking about oh, Joe, Uncle Joey. Uh, and his um, name is Dave Coulier. Dave Coulier. Coulier. He does stand up. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, Actually, yeah. he sells a lot of tickets. He's hysterical. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, as long as he doesn't, you know. Kramer? As long as he doesn't pull a Kramer. Yeah. I'll be as long as nobody pulls a Kramer. This is one of our longer interviews we've had because I've actually enjoyed having you here. Dude, this yeah. this has been really fun. I feel like we could just do this. The three of us could have a podcast. Yeah, call. Do you just, should come we just continue sh- When's Lunch? Because sh- we are not huge fans of the name of the show, but we're kind of yeah, stuck we'll take with it over the point. name of your podcast. All right, cool. We'll do yeah. it on my balcony. When's Lunch is the number one podcast done on a balcony. I that's mean, like probably what statistically what, what true. It's about. Yeah, well, I that's, would imagine. that's the point. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did you? Were you like kind of? Like doing comedy, did you feel like when you're doing the podcast, did you have to be yeah, funny? Yeah, we were being like, yeah. It, was like, it wasn't like super like serious. We were talking about, you know, it was all, it was basically just like my like fans from like music that listened to it. But so we'd tell a lot of stories about tours and like shows funny that we liked and like stuff that. about that. And and just naturally doing that. My drummer is like the funniest guy in the world. So I have two more questions before you go. That's great. I know that I've prolonged this interview quite a bit. Dude, okay, keep it I'm going. Just curious. Dude. And if you get if you've gotten this far, where's my camera? It's right uh, here. I know. I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, please <laughs> listen to my album. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, two more questions before you can go listen to the album. Okay. First question. I'll when you're doing again. the podcast, because this happens to my girlfriend all the time, I'm curious if you would ever finish that, and then you were still like kind of in that podcasty mood where you're like cracking jokes all the time, and then your girlfriend's like, "Hey, stop." Like you're in a mood right yeah. now. That would that happens to me all the time because like we'll be very cynical and do bits, and then I'll go and I'll call my girlfriend and be like doing this, and she's like, "Can you call me back when you're not, not doing, doing this bit. right now?" Because yeah. like, I'm out like, of character. Sorry. Yeah, like yeah. when you get out of character. Did you ever have that moment? Yeah, yeah. I, I also just had it where like we'd finish like an hour podcast and I'd still be in it, and we'd be like, "Let's just do another episode." Right. And it's, we always trash the second episode because it's just weird. Yeah. You get it's, it's 20 all, minutes into that episode and then you're like, oh, okay, uh, I well, just I'm needed next, yeah, this yeah. is awful. I just yeah. needed to get this out of my system, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then second question, have you ever had anything like horrifically embarrassing happen on stage? 
I find that like such a interesting thing with musicians because yeah, there's nothing a, we can do. I gotta knock on some wood. That's not. That's wood. wood. That's wood. That's wood. wood. Yeah, yeah. Jake's uh, I haven't had right anything here, yeah. horrible happen. I've, I had one, and it was so early on there wasn't like a lot of people at the show, but I came out on stage. And one thing I used to do when I was first starting out is like I would treat these like ten people shows like they're like arenas, which is so cringy. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like delusional, like I was like, like that's getting how everyone going. Yes, <laughs> hands up. Like I did all that shit with like ten it was people. Like people looking around, like Does anybody. Put I mean, they would up? do it, but like I, I thank God that I was delusional for sure because it's I, practice though. I, mean, I, that, I would never cool. be here. Dude, if I wasn't. fake it till like, you make it. I did. And I, did I faked it for a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah, fake it till you make it. Career-wise and orgasms. Yeah, Jake's mm. girlfriend. That's and uh, mm, Shazam. Shazam, also a good movie. Ever seen it? Yes. Uh, the original or the newer? The one? originals. CW show. The original. Yeah. So. Wait. 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 Chuck. What's that? What's that new? Is it Shazam? Is that the new girl? Is the sh- is Shazam the new? Sorry, I'm just the thing fucking, exactly. Whatever you say. I'm, I'm. You're getting a phone call. If you want to take that. <clears throat> oh, it's my front door. Yeah, let him in. Go ahead. We got nothing on it. Not oh, missed it. So oh. anyway, great. That was okay, my Nello so super okay. calm drink. So go back to the, the, the story, the embarrassing. Yeah. Thing. So I go out on stage and I'm treating, I, like I said, I'm treating this like it's like an arena. I go out and it's like the first song. I scream, how's everybody doing? And I take the mic out of the mic stand and I, <laughs> I put the mic stand down and I like put it on like, it was like on the edge of like another mic stand, I guess. And I turn around and all I hear, and I was like playing with just a keyboardist and tracks, but the headliner's drums were there and all I hear, dude, is just, and this fucking mic stand falls on a, on another stand. The stand falls on the drums. All the drums fall everywhere. First song. I'm in the first verse and my ass continues like, like the, the, the the sounds are ringing out like, like everybody's just like <laughs> and i'm just fucking like still like i'm trying to like in my mind pretending like it didn't happen is the correct thing to do and now i'd be like hold on we gotta stop the song did you guys fucking just see what just happened like but at the time i was so like you're like a minute no <laughs> and i like got through that whole set and i like couldn't i'll never forget that feeling it was crazy that's hysterical drums everywhere because you know like all 10 people in the audience are like is he gonna oh, say something that? about the drums no like, i didn't i even like went on to the next song and like pretend like it didn't happen and you're then, just, the whole time kinda, yes well like they they came up like the headline band came up and like started like fixing like, the drums it out of the way. <laughs> yeah dude so just get that oh, out of here <laughs> just uh that's like, that like the, you know when they're, they're they tell you that you if you make a mistake in a scene just keep going like you know something spontaneous is going to come from it yeah, you just took that to the nth degree, dude. It was bad. It was so gnarly. I've had like, I've had like little things happen, like where I'm just trying to say like, "Welcome to the show." I'm like, "Welcome, like just like shit like that." And you're here, but I also I pissed on the stage. No, I'm kidding. Dude, I I find stuff like that like super endearing. I really do. Ow, that was an amazing toss. I went to a Zach Bryan concert. I think I've said this on the show, oh, but yeah. he he like forgot the lyrics at one point. He was like, I'm so sorry. Like That's cool. That's everybody's done that. Yeah. And it was just like, it, but it was cool that he was like, I'm so sorry. Like I messed that up. Or like he was playing the guitar and he was like, that sounded horrible. Can I do that again? And like went back and I was like, just make some human, you know? Yes. It's nice. It's not perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's definitely true. Yeah. It also works, I think, for Zach Bryan. I think if you saw Taylor Swift do that, it'd be If you saw awkward. Freddie Mercury do that, you'd be like, what's he doing? Like, it'd be crazy too because he's dead. <laughs> That's the craziest yeah. part. Yeah, that'd be the weirdest part if you saw him doing it today. Yeah, you didn't see him last week. <laughs> it's a fucking great performance. Yeah, is that Freddie? He's Buffy? just laying there. I don't know. Anyway, hey, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, please tell everyone the uh, name of your album, where they can find it, how yep. they can listen to it, go, and go when listen. they should listen to it. And, and what? And when they should listen to it. All yeah, I mean, the time. The, so number number one is listen to it now. It's called The Drama. It's out everywhere you can find music. Even if you're just listening to music on YouTube like a weirdo, it's on there too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, sure. yeah, yeah. Go. It's it's a it's a modern rock opera. So it's like it's a rock opera without the eight minute interludes for, mm. for Gen Z. And that's... Because they can't. They I mean, honestly, nobody can now. Mm. But I can't. Uh, someday I'll make The Who. I'll make a, a true like... Bob O'Reilly, and it'll be great. Hmm. Yeah. Also but for now, for this is what we're stuck with. Cue the theme music. Yeah. 
That was cool. Hey, and and yeah. also, keep this in. Yeah. No, we will. Oh, we're actually scrapping we, the whole episode. Why, why don't we just not do an outro? <laughs> huh? We should just not do an outro. This was nice. We had him here for so long. Stop okay, spreading great. the news. Yeah, see, so like, he's even playing himself out. Right. <laughs> well, uh, see you next week. Yeah, hey, thanks, See you guys. next week. I'll be here, too. Yeah, he might never leave. <laughs>